surrender. I surrender to you. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. I surrender all to you. I surrender all to you. Come with you can surrender it unto God. Whatever you're worried about, give it to Him. I surrender. Withholding nothing, withholding. I surrender. Withholding nothing. I surrender. I surrender. One more time, come on, let's sing it. Everything I give to you, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Holding nothing. Come on, if I can just get you to stand in the spirit of worship here in the house. Stand and just magnify the Lord. We're going to worship together this morning. We're going to clap our hands together this morning. We're going to give God praise together this morning. Has he been a good God to you?
Come on, just begin to worship him. Just begin to worship him. Love on him. Just speak well of him. Hallelujah. If you don't know what to say, just say hallelujah. Lord, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. You're worthy to be praised, God. We lift you up, God. Come on, just stir your spirit up. Stir your spirit. lift you up. There is nobody like you. Thank you for your spirit and your presence that dwells in this house today. And we thank you, Lord, for all of those who have come, Lord, to experience the presence of God. Yes. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name that you meet every need in this house today. Lord, stretch out your hand over this, your people. Lord, we come, Lord. We need a word from you today, Lord. Some of us need healing. Somebody needs a touch from you today. Lord, be pleased to stand up and be God, Lord. And we're going to thank you. And we're going to praise you, Lord. And we're going to lift you up. Because you are the almighty God. And there is nobody like you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody give God a praise in this house. Somebody magnify him. Somebody lift him up because he's the almighty God. Come on, y'all know this. Sing with me, how great. How great. How great, how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, see how great, how great is our God. Come on, let's shake it up. How great, how great. Come on, 
let's take it up again. I How great, how great. Yep. Sound good, sound good. Sing it again. How great is I'm going to have y'all sing next Sunday. How great is our God. Come on, let's lift it up all together. How great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, see how great. How great is our God. How great is our God. Name above all names. Come on, say. You are name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart. And my heart will sing. How great is our God. You're the name above all names. You're worthy. You're the name.
Remember, I'm gonna say it like this. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Give him one more praise here. Yeah. 
You're a great God. And we come to give you great praise. You're a great God. And we come to give you praise. That's it right there, Alex. I want you to go out of your way, out of your comfort zone, out of your seat, and go tell three people, we serve a great God. He's greater than your cancer. He's greater than your sugar diabetes. He's greater shot, than your heart trouble. He's greater than the lump on your breast. He's greater than the growth on your body. He's greater than the powers of darkness. Lift your voice behind that mask and say greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Come on saints, don't let the mask mute your praise. I feel a breakthrough here. I felt it when I came in. When I walked in the door, I knew God would do it. When I walked in the sanctuary, I knew he'd make a way. Encourage your neighbor, the one standing next to you, and tell him whatever your greatest challenge is, your God is greater than that. Look on the other side and tell them whatever your greatest adversary is, your God is greater than that if you believe it remember god said it's gonna be a month of miracles so on the first sunday of october we're gonna get this thing started because by fourth sunday by fourth sunday God's going to move in a miraculous way. I don't know if it's coming on first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday, or fourth Sunday. But what I do know is that God is not a man that he should lie. His word has gone out of his mouth. It can't come back void. So if I were you, I wouldn't wait till the battle over. I shall now. Come on up in here. Come on, Mount Calvary. I want you to loose yourself. Loose your praise. Some of you are too stiff. You're too still. Get out and walk that out. Walk in that section. Walk out of your depression. Walk out of your bad week. Walk away from your burden. Walk away from your stress. Just get to walking on the water. Peter said, let me out of this boat. Because Jesus said, come. Come and be blessed. Come and be healed. Let me walk a little while. Come and be delivered. Come and be refreshed. Come and be restored. Sister Jean Thompson, I've been in prayer for you since five o'clock this morning. I need the saints to lift up a praise that will go in Jean's body and heal, Lord. I thought I was at 1812. Heal, Jesus. Tananamashaya. Touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Every discomfort, every pain, leave her body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, somebody pick up Brother Sam Miller, in the spirit, oh Jesus, 
heal every bone, heal every muscle, heal every tissue, heal every sinew. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and all of you that are in the room with a pain in your body, a sickness or an ailment, push past it and go to giving God praise, giving God glory. John, give me the click track. Raise up the praise. I want to give God some glory. I've got to get in on this praise. I've got to release it in the atmosphere. Take about 65 seconds and just give God the best praise that you can all over the church. Y'all give me about two minutes. Give me about two minutes and I'll be right back. John, we got to raise it up. I'm coming over there. We gonna raise this thing up. Come on, clap your hands here.
Say, cast all of your cares upon him. Has God been good to anybody in the house today? Glad to be in the service just one more time. I was thinking as we were coming in this morning how grateful I was and am that we're able to gather again in the house of the Lord. Everyone's not back in the house, but praise God for those of us that are in the house. Everyone's not been able, various reasons, some for physical limitations, others for other reasons. But praise God, we're able. I remember when we could only have 10. Then they dropped that down, said you could only have five. Many a Sunday I preached in this sanctuary by myself, me and a camera. But I'm just glad to have some praises in the house of God on this morning. I'm glad to be alive. I should have been dead. I'm a COVID survivor. Y'all's hand claps sound like you got mittens on. I want y'all to take the gloves off your hand. Hey! And give God a proper praise. If you never had COVID, praise him that you didn't get it. Oh, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, let's make an agreement for the rest of this service. No more half-hearted praises. Everything that we do, we got to do it with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our might, with all of our strength. Don't give God no half-hearted praise. Your whole soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Well, we're grateful for those of you that have joined us on the World Wide Web. And if you don't know it by now, we want to tell you here in the sanctuary and those of you that are watching on the web are typing it in the comments section. Let's let them know, church. Say it with me. You belong here. And we are glad that you're here. And we want you to like. We want you to invite, to share, to tag. Hit those share buttons wherever you're watching this morning. Invite all of your social media friends into this spiritual worship service originating from Calvary Ministries International here in the city of God in Youngstown, Ohio. We are continuing today in prayer for the family of Sister Marva. We had a tremendous homegoing celebration for her on yesterday. The family was beautiful and it was just a beautiful worship experience. Brother Lee, we are praying for you and praying for the entire family. We're praying for the family of Deacon Thomas Porter, Brother Savelle Porter, Sister Tanya porter Bow. We're praying for you as another great soldier of the cross has gone home to be with the Lord. Our love and our prayers to the Porter family as God shall strengthen you in this hour. The family of Brother Irving Jones, we are praying for you, asking God to heal you and touch you Another great man of God has gone from labor to reward. His homegoing service this coming Saturday, 11 a.m. at Christ Church in Indianapolis. We are praying for 
the Jones family. Pastor Tammy Crockett Duke, we're praying for you, daughter, for the entire Crockett family as we celebrated this weekend the home going of Trustee William Crockett. And I want to celebrate his service to the land of God and to Mount Calvary that he gave down through the years, had a tremendous impact with young men through the Sons of Thunder. Help me give God praise for the life and the legacy of Trustee William Crockett. Lord has taken the saints home. Sort of a pre-rapture preview. There must be a state of readiness for the coming of the Lord. And an hour that you think not, the Son of Man shall appear. So whoever you are and wherever you are, if you have experienced the loss of loved ones, the God of all grace and the God of all comfort is able to strengthen you. The Spirit of the Lord is calling for the church to stay on the altar. I want everyone to say that in the atmosphere, stay on the altar. The Lord has called us to one hour of prayer on Thursday night from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., and this sanctuary is filling up with intercessors. Last Thursday, I looked out. It must have been 200 intercessors here in the sanctuary calling on the name of the Lord. God is doing something in our spirits, in our minds. I believe that he's making us rapture ready. So we're going to stay on the altar. We'll be back again on this Thursday night from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. right here in the sanctuary of Calvary. You don't have to be a member uh, to come and be a part of this great time of prayer and intercession. I want to invite you to come and be with us in Thursday evening prayer on this week from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Next Sunday, we are celebrating 11 years of God's mercy to myself and the First Lady and Pastor James. Hallelujah. Having therefore obtained help from the Lord, we continue unto this day. And I know, thank you, saints, and I know it's because of the prayers of the saints that we're still on the wall proclaiming that Jesus is Lord. Next Sunday, I'm happy to welcome home to Calvary, one of the favorite sons of our assembly, the Honorable Bishop J. Laverne Tyson, the pastor of the Greater Apostolic Faith Church of Warren, Ohio, will be right here ministering along with the Greater Apostolic Faith family. They're going to be with us on next Sunday morning at 10 a.m., and I'm looking forward to having my big brother home here at Calvary. Today, to all of our friends in the Youngstown area, Calvary's favorite son, the Honorable Bishop C. Wayne Brantley, will be ministering today at the pastoral anniversary of our brother and friend, Pastor Kent Barrett Barnes and First Lady Camille Wagner Barnes are celebrating their pastoral anniversary today at Innovation Life Church at 3 p.m. That's 4478 Boardman Canfield Road, and the Honorable Bishop C. Wayne Brantley will be the guest speaker today at 3 p.m. So we certainly want to invite and implore all of the Calvary family that is available, able, let's go over and support our bishop and show love to our son and daughter as they are celebrating their pastoral anniversary all around the Youngstown area, 3 p.m. today. The Honorable Bishop C. Wayne Bradley will be home in Youngstown with the word of the Lord. 4478 Boardman Canfield Road, the Innovation Life Church, 3 p.m. on today. I don't see him in the room, but I want to take a moment to celebrate Deacon Stacy Robinson, who is concluding his coaching uh, tenure at Union. They tell me that Deacon Robinson, stand up Deacon if you're in, there he is. Deacon has served as the head coach since 1997, shaping and forming young men 
for success, not just in athletics, but in every area of life. Give the deacon, give Coach Robinson a big God bless you. Deacon, we celebrate you and the service that you have rendered to those families and to our community. Everyone say ministry comes in many forms. That's a ministry. Anytime that you can mentor young people, help keep them on the path to success, it is a ministry. I want to celebrate today Deacon Jamie and Misha Decemberly are celebrating their wedding anniversary. Give God a good praise for them today. I know he's here somewhere. I saw him a little earlier. I don't know if Misha is here this morning, but I want to wish them a happy anniversary. And I want to wish Elder Gary and Sister June Johnson a happy wedding anniversary. They're celebrating their anniversary on this weekend, and they're not here. They're where they ought to be, somewhere celebrating their anniversary. Now, we believe in church. And we believe in the service of the Lord, but you better take your wife somewhere for your anniversary if you're going to have a wife. I'm just trying to help you. Ain't talking about, I'm going to go into church next week, brother. Take that sister somewhere and celebrate. Your, am I right, sisters? Absolutely. Bring some flowers with you, too. And some candy and some nice jewelry. And a beautiful dinner. And a massage and a uh -oh. pedicure and a manicure. I'm trying to help you now. My father used to say, keep the honey on the moon. Amen. And that's how you do it. You have to continue you have to do what you did to win that sister's heart. And a lot of times we start out romantic, going on dates and doing other things, and then we get a little weary and well-doing. But I want to celebrate the Johnsons and the Decemberleys on their anniversary. Help me just give God a praise for all the October birthdays. How many of y'all are October babies? Stand up and wave your hand. Woo! Lord, have mercy. Uh, Y'all parents got lonely in them winter months. <laughs> Hilarious. I want to celebrate all the October birthdays. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And may this be the best year of your life. Come on, y'all. Until next year. Our distinguished chairman of the Mount Calvary Pentecostal official board is coming with a tremendous presentation and celebration. And today we are honoring two of the most outstanding officers that have ever served on our board down through the years. And I'm praising God that they are still here with us, but they've come to a transition where they are now receiving the elevation to the honorary status of Deacon Emeritus. The term Emeritus is rendered only to a select few who have served for an extended period of time with exemplary service. And these two great men of God have served our church and the kingdom of God, both of them for over 40 years. And today we are celebrating the elevation of the Honorable Deacon Oscar Underwood and the Honorable Deacon Isaac Fleshman to Deacon Emeritus of the Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church and our Honorable Chairman, the Honorable Deacon Jerry McKinney. Get the deacon a microphone here. Come on y'all, give these deacons a big God bless you. They're the best in the kingdom of God. The Honorable Deacon Chairman Jerry McKinney. God bless you, brothers. You know, it's an honor. 40 years, that's, that, that's, that's uh, quite an accomplishment. 
And as Pastor had mentioned, that this is not the end of the story. Right. You know, they just now are turning the page yeah. to the next level of ministry that God will have them in. But it's quite an honor for me to be able to present these certificates to these deacons. And you have to realize down through the years, it's a lot of prayers. And I used to say to myself, how do these, some of these older deacons, how do some of these brothers make it, man? All these challenges. But you got examples right here. Prayer. Yes, sir. And sacrifice. They gave uh, of their families, of times that they had to come to board meetings and do things at the church. So we're quite honored today, once again, these great brothers. Give them a great God bless you. <laughs> Deacon Oscar Underwood and Deacon Isaac Fletcher. Pastor? Would you give our deacons one more big God bless you that the Lord will make their latter greater than their former. Thank you, Deacon Fleshman. Thank you, Deacon Underwood. And the blessings of the Lord be upon you all. It was during the administration of my father, the late Bishop James E. Tyson, that 6 a.m. prayer was established here at Mount Calvary on Sunday morning. And Deacon Fleshman told me the last instruction my father gave him. Don't let the 6 a.m. prayer go down. And for year after year after year, Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, you would find Deacon Ike right over there in that corner on the altar, preparing the atmosphere for what God would do in Calvary every Sunday. Somebody has to get with Deacon Fleshman and get that mantle and say, Father, put that spirit of faithfulness, commitment, dedication on me. As Bishop James E. said, don't let the 6 a.m. prayer go down. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, we celebrate our deacons. And before we hear the word of the Lord on this morning, we're going to prepare to worship the Lord in tithes and in offering. This is first Sunday, October, and we want to begin this month by giving the Lord a large, generous offering of tithes and the free will offering. This first Sunday, I'm going to ask everyone to number one, honor the Lord with his tithe. We call that the kingdom 10, both here in the sanctuary and all of the saints that are watching online. The first 10% of our income and our increase belongs to God who has given us everything. So now we're able to give electronically online. Elder, let me have my iPad there. I've been out of the habit, praise team, you have your seats for just a moment. Uh, give the praise team remnant of God bless you this morning. <laughs> Got some of the praise team away on this morning, but these that are here are doing an excellent job in carrying on the worship of our God. I'm so accustomed to giving in the service that when I'm watching online, sometimes the service starts and ends and I forgot to give. So let's take out our smartphones and mobile devices, iPads, and let us prepare now to give unto the Lord. Those of you that are viewing online, the ways to give are on the screen. Those that would like to share right here in the live service, if you're in need of a contribution envelope, Please just lift your hands at this time, wherever you are sitting, and the ministers of order are moving through the sanctuary to serve you now. Now I'm asking everyone to honor the Lord with his tithe, and let's give the Lord a $50, a Pentecost, a Pentecost offering on this morning, and we're going to worship and praise the Lord in giving. May the blessings of the Lord make you rich, and add to you no sorrow. And may God provide all of your needs according to his riches in glory. Praise God's name. Lord, I thank you for making us all debt free. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for mortgages paid in full, car notes, medical bills, college tuition. Thank you for 800 credit scores and the wisdom not to abuse credit cards in the name of Jesus. Elder Bowers, take that microphone where you are, son, and didn't God use Elder Bowers on last Sunday morning? <laughs> Elder, I felt led to ask you to pray because the Lord told me to tell you that you and Sister Bowers are first in line for the financial miracle that's about to hit the whole house by the end of October. Now, the thing about what the thing about what just happened was, see the scriptures say rejoice with them that rejoice. And I prophesied that a financial miracle is coming to the Bowers house by the end of the month. But I'm telling you, if you get happy for the Bowers, it might get to your house before it get to their house. See, that's how God operates. Gracious Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, here we are, Lord, and we thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your word that it came forth today, Lord, that financial blessings is coming to the house. Lord, we take not for granted your many blessings unto us, your thoughtfulness unto us. Lord, I ask in Jesus' name that you bless, Lord, everyone that's under the sound of my voice, even those that is watching this service today, Lord, on the World Wide Web. You know what they stand in need of today, Lord, and I declare the blessings of God in this house. Hallelujah. Lord, you said whatever we speak, whatever we declare, it has to come to pass. Just like you said, Lord, so we declare the blessings of God. We declare the peace of God. We declare the financial, hallelujah, stability that the saints of God need. Lord, you know, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Now bless us now, Lord, and we forever give you praise, glory, and honor because you are an awesome God and there is nobody like you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you more than anything. Let's say that again. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you more than anything. Just one more time. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. All of my friends in the Georgetown, Kentucky area, I want to see you tonight. Lexington, Louisville, Georgetown, Kentucky on this evening at 6 p.m. I want you to meet me at the Perfecting Praise Church, 318 Chambers Avenue in Georgetown, Kentucky on tonight. I have a word from the Lord for you. Won't you lift your hands before the Lord? We're going to worship together. I lift my hands in total adoration. I lift my hands in total adoration. church say I can sing to you this song. I just want to say I just want to say that I love you more than anything let's worship together I love you Jesus I worship and adore you I love you Jesus I worship and 
He's here. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Don't touch that computer. I was a man God has a word for you this morning. Need prayer? So call Lord, me now. Area code 330 747 4445. God is able. I love you, Jesus. I love you. Surrounded by anybody that loves them. Say it again, Lord, I love you. I love you oh, Jesus. Lord. And I worship you. That I love you, Lord. Yeah. Come on, I just need that to feel the atmosphere. Come on, sing. I love you, Jesus. Come on, I worship Him. Oh, I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you that I worship you. I, I love you. I love you. Yeah. Come on, say. your Bibles stand all over the house. I love you, I love you. more than anything. I love you, I love you more than anything. Oh, 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 oh. I love you more than anything. I love you more than anything. Stand with me along over the house. Proverbs chapter 18. One verse there, number 10. Johnny, you don't remember this. 
You made me a winner. I wrote this song, a strong survivor. I made it this far because of you. When I wanted to give up, you still love me. I am who I am because of you. You made me a winner, strong survivor. I made it this far only because of you. Your testimony ain't the same as mine, but there was a time I wanted to give up. But you still love me. Yeah, yeah. I am who I am only because of you. Proverbs chapter 18, verse number 10. Y'all got it? Say, I got it. Word of the Lord declares, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run to it and are safe. The name of the Lord is a what? I need y'all to help me preach here. The name of the Lord is a what? Strong tower. Strong tower. And the righteous run to it and are safe. Y'all give me just a few moments. Bishop has already set this atmosphere. Just for a few moments before we go home, I'd like to speak from the subject, are you in or are you out? Are you in or are you out? Just look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, I know you've been going through some stuff. I know it's been difficult. I know you even cried some tears. Tell them, I've got a question for you. After all you've been through, are you in or are you out? Uh, you ought to respond with a praise right there. Father God, in the name of Jesus, manifest yourself in this place and in your people. Devil, get out with all your spirits. You're not welcome here. Hollis, sit down. Holy Ghost, rise and minister to these people for the time such as this. And Calvary said in Jesus' name, amen, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Certainly we honor our shepherd, our leader, our protector. Come on, thank God for the one, the only, Bishop Sishan Tyson. We thank God for Lady Tyson in her absence. Thank God for my wife being with me and my two babies. Wonderful. God bless them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sis, I, I was on 76 this morning making my way into Calvary. I got right where the split is between Can Canfield and moving into Youngstown. The Lord began to speak to me almost immediately, Minister David. God said, when you get to your home church this morning and you stand before the sacred people, he said, I want you to tell them that the praise that they release in the sanctuary today will be determined on how much pressure I apply to the neck of the enemy that I got my foot on. All right. Y'all missed it. I'm going to talk to the folk in the balcony because y'all with me. The Lord said, how you release your praise and how undignified you get and how you don't care about who looking at you and how much you paid for the weed that's sold in your head right now. God said, if you would just release a praise despite what's going on, despite what the bank account looks like, despite the pain in your body right now, he said, that's going to be how much pressure I apply to the neck of the enemy that's been fighting you all week long and maybe you ain't been dealing with nothing but for me and my house back in Akron I got a devil that I need God to apply all his pressure on and snap the neck of the enemy I thought I was surrounded by Mount Calvary folk that would take the roof off this place with a praise while God applies the pressure 
Some of y'all got some financial issues. Some of y'all got some health problems. Some of y'all are dealing with confusion in the family. And God said, I got my foot on your enemy's neck. And the more you praise me today, before you go watch your football game and go to Olive Garden, he said, I'm going to apply the pressure and so by the time you get back to work tomorrow that demon that's been chasing you all week long is going to be backed up into a corner and you're going to be free in your spirit lift up your hands open your mouth and shout yes lord be seated please be seated please God begin to speak to me very clearly concerning how the enemy is attacking the saints and how we are going through some things that we don't even know where it came from can we just have an honest conversation really quick here deacon there are some stuff that we have been facing in the last two weeks we don't even even know where it uprooted from. <laughs> this is some stuff you ain't never seen before. I ain't never argued this much. I ain't never had these many problems uh, out of my children. I ain't never uh, had to deal with this kind uh, of drama on my job. Where uh, is this confusion coming from? Uh, the Lord told me to tell you what you cannot do uh, while in the... I'm going to get into the text, but can I just talk for a minute? Uh, God said what you cannot do while you're in the fire is look at the flames and get distracted. Elder Joe, God told me personally, he said, while I'm taking you through it, he said, I need to know that your response is going to stay consistent. Good God Almighty in here. And the problem with the church is we're inconsistent. We're in one moment, out the next. We're praisers one moment and then sitting there like bumps on the log the next Sunday. Yeah. We're giving tithes and offering one and then doubting God's going to take care of my bills. Uh, we're back and forth, in and out. Uh, and God said, uh, I want to push fast forward on what you're going through, yeah. but I cannot prematurely release you yeah, out of what you're going through until you get consistent. Uh, Prophet Paul, I feel like preaching in here yeah, at my home church this morning. Yeah. Take your elbow and nudge your neighbor and say get consistent you can't be in one moment and out the next you can't be running around the church one Sunday and then sitting there like you don't know God's been good to you I'm not telling you that you've got to be the kind of praiser like everybody else but I'm reminded of the scripture that says let everything praise God let everything that have breath I want you to do an exercise really quick they taught me this in vocal school I want you to just take a moment and take a deep breath in hold it for a couple seconds and then release it out of your nose yes I'm going to teach you something here everybody you're in vocal school real quick breathe in through your mouth hold it for a few moments and then release it through your nose yes God said you got to learn how to control your breathing good God almighty here you can't become panicky under the trial and the tribulation You've got to learn how to control your breathing. I'm trying to get into this text, but I'm trying to help somebody in the back that's dealing with depression because you've been dealing with battles and confusion on every side. The Lord told me to tell you I'm arresting depression in the house right now. In fact, I place you under arrest in the middle of the message that I'm in. Low self-esteem and depression. I'm giving giving you 10 seconds uh, to clear the building uh, and the property right now. Uh, you will sleep good tonight. Uh, you're not going to be tossing and turning tonight. No, 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 no. Uh, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I rebuke. I thought I was surrounded uh, by somebody that would help me go to war. Real, Thank you, Minister David. Uh, I need somebody to help me go to war real quick because uh, some of y'all sitting here smiling, uh, but you ain't slept in the last
last three days because of the torment that's happening in your mind. But I come to arrest a demon and a devil in this sanctuary and tell you to let my people go. You will have the peace of God. You will sleep good tonight. And the devil that's been on your back is being cast back to hell where it came from. Open your mouth and release a praise. And now in the text, the text here now we find that there are 20 different definitions of the word strong. Mm -hmm. uh, but the one that we identify with the most is fourfold. Mm. It deals with physical, mental, social, and spiritual. Uh, so when we use it by saying uh, strong muscles and strong mind and strong winds and strong drink and strong odors, strong love, strong faith, and strong trust, taking uh, the strong stance uh, is, in other words, meaning that strong is better. Mm. Everybody say strong is better. Mm. God told Moses, he said, be strong and courageous, and I will be with you. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 31. He told his predecessor Joshua the same. As he began to lead the people, Moses knew what those words meant to him as those words were given to him directly by the Lord. Now Joshua will preach to his people and tell them to be strong and courageous. I begin to pose the question to God. I said, God, what is it, Johnny Austin? What is it that has caused us not to be strong anymore? Yeah, when I grew up at Zion Apostolic Church in Akron, Ohio, under the great Bishop Parker, I remember sitting there as a teenager and seeing strong believers. Yeah, people that came into the sanctuary uh -huh, and would come and walk up and down the aisles and plead the blood of Jesus in that atmosphere. If you've ever been to Zion, you know that it sits directly in the hood on the north side of Akron and on, on that corner where it sits on Howard and Talmadge. I would sit there on a Wednesday night, Prophet Paul, and watch drunk folk come into the sanctuary but because a strong mother had been praying in that house, I would see a drunk person stumble to the altar and say, I don't want the drink no more. Y'all ever seen anything like that? I'm talking about being at a church surrounded by strong believers, people with strong faith. I remember mama packing us up in the blue conversion van uh, on a Sunday night driving uh, to the city of Youngstown, Ohio, uh, just so we could be in the service uh, while the Honorable Bishop Norman L. Wagner uh, would be conducting a Sunday night service. Uh, I remember Bishop uh, sitting in his seat. I'm trying to teach here. Uh, sitting in his seat. Uh, uh, but the intercessors were walking around this very sanctuary uh, pleading the blood of Jesus. I saw Bishop Wagner mount the podium, but because the Holy Ghost was in the room, he never dealt with one note, never dealt with anything that he had written on that tablet, because the Holy Ghost was already doing the work. I posed the question to God. I said, God, why is it that back in the day, Mama used to drive us over to apostolic faith? Uh -huh. Wow, our honorable Bishop Sishan Tyson was 
pastoring that church, we would go over there. And before he got up to deliver the word of God, the music alone had filled the atmosphere. And people were getting baptized in the name of Jesus. Matthew, I posed the question to God. I said to him, why is it that it seems like we used to be strong, but we ain't got the same strength no more? Why is it that it seems like the miracles that you used to perform, we don't see it on a consistent basis no more? Why is it that you would walk into a service knowing sin was on your back, but decided to make a turnaround for the better? Why is it that the preacher got to have a heart attack in the sanctuary before somebody lift up their hands, before somebody say, thank you, Jesus? Why the praise team got to work so hard just for somebody to say he's been good? Why we got to work like this when folk are supposed to come into the sanctuary with thanksgiving in their heart and praise on their mind? What happened to the people of God in the church of God in whole that we used to have? A strong spirit, a strong mind, a strong will, strong motivation. What is it that happened that now we're concerned about who like me and who don't like me and whose click I'm in and whose click I ain't? How much money he got and how much money I don't? Why are we concerned about silly stuff? About who got a title and who don't? Who's sitting on the front row and who ain't? Who's being used and who's not? What happened that? So concerned with church antics rather than church anointing. What happened? He said, God, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? He said, he said, the problem is, uh, he said, is uh, y'all allow trouble to consume you. He said, sir, what do you mean by that? He said, he said, you've allowed what you're going through to take your focus. He said, the difference between y'all and the old folk of Zion and the old Calvary and the old Pentecostal and the apostolic, he said, the difference is they walked in without bills paid and praised me like they were millionaires. That's right. I know they walked in on a Sunday when Friday the doctor had told them bad news. And they got in the sanctuary and nothing could contain them. He said, the difference is y'all wear trouble on your sleeves. And based upon how hot it is, is based upon what you do for me or not. Good God Almighty. Well, I said, God, I said, what do we have to do? He said, uh, he said, the first thing I want you to tell Calvary, he said, I want you to tell them that they got to go back to asking me the right stuff. Mm. Matthew chapter 7, uh, uh, verse 7 says, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. He said, y'all have gotten so lazy. Y'all want me to do the first works, the first acts uh, while y'all sit there and do nothing. He said, and I'm looking for some saints that's going to open their mouth and ask me some stuff. I'm looking for some saints that's going to knock and say, I I I'm not going to leave till you give me what you promised me. I'm not going nowhere. I know I'm agitating you, God, but I just need you to touch me like you said you would. I, I know, I know, I know you're tired of hearing of me and crying out to you like this, but I just want you to do what you promised you. You said you was going to save my kid. He ain't saved yet. I'm knocking until you do what you promised me. You said that we would move over there to the city of David. What happened, Lord? Did we need to do something different? What do we got to do? I'm knocking. I'm asking. I'm seeking. And I ain't going nowhere until you do what you promised me you're going to do. Yeah, that's why God shut the doors to the physical building. Because he wanted to see what you was going to do in your house. Good God Almighty here. And we got in the house and got more lazy. We got at the kitchen table and still wasn't lifting our hands. You didn't even have to get in the car 
car, put gas in the car, do your makeup, go nowhere. All you had to do was stand up in your kitchen and get God glory. Now we're back in the house and you brought that lackadaisical spirit right back in my house. I need just 10 of y'all to just break that spirit in the room right now and let God know I'm not lazy. I'm not lackadaisical. I'm not no punk, no wuss. I'm going to give you all I got right now. Yeah. I wish somebody would start seeking them right there. Yeah. I wish somebody would start knocking right there. Yeah. I wish somebody would start asking right there. Yeah. And while you're standing in the sanctuary, yeah, knocking and asking, yeah, God said, I'm switching some stuff yeah, on your behalf right there. Yeah. If you were crazy like I am, yeah, you would open up your mouth yeah, like we had a Cleveland Cavaliers game yeah, and start shouting on the God right now I said all right I said I said all right God all right you said you want us to go back to seeking you you want us to go back to knocking you want us to go back to asking I said now I don't want to be disrespectful Lord but what you gonna do for us he said, Johnny, this is what I'm going to do for you. He said, when you get back to the right place that you're supposed to be in, he said, I got a list of stuff I'm going to do for you. I said, God, tell me what you're going to do. Baby, he said, I'm going to do this for you. He said, when you get back into your rightful place, he said, the first thing I'm going to be to you is a strong touch. <laughs> Bible says... Matthew chapter 17 verse 7 uh -huh. said and Jesus came and touched them yeah. and said arise and be not afraid. Yeah. I want you to just put your hands around yourself real quick and say Lord touch me. Lord, touch me. <laughs> say it again like you really mean it. Lord, Lord touch me. If you don't put your hands on me, I may lose my mind. If you don't put your hands on me, I may make the wrong decision. If you don't put your hands on me, my body is susceptible to disease. But if you would just touch me, I know everything. I feel hood in here now. I know everything is going to be all right. Just take your elbow and nudge your neighbor and say, God's getting ready to touch you. God's getting ready. Not just touch you like any old touch. He said, no, I'm going to be your strong touch. Yes, Lord. The next thing that God said, and I'm getting ready to go on back to Akron. He said, then I'm going to be your strong one. In the book of Exodus chapter 15, verse number 2, the Bible says, The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. I just need somebody to lean in your seat. Come on, come on. We practicing stuff today. Just lean in your seat and say, while I'm leaning, the Lord is my strong one. Y'all ain't acting like we at Calvary. Yeah. Lean on the other side and say, while I'm leaning, the Lord is my strong one. What do you mean by that, Hollis? I mean that while I'm getting weary in well-doing, while it seems like it's too much to bear, while it seems like the weight that's on my shoulders is pressing me down to the ground, he said, I I, I, I want to remind my family today yeah, that I'm going to be your strong one. Yeah. I need you to yell through that mask yeah, and say he's my strong one. Uh, da, 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 I got to move on here now. Yeah. The Lord said that ain't all I'm going to do for you. Yeah. He said but, 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 but yeah. when I get done being your strong touch yeah. and when I get done being the strong one yeah. he said then 
win. I'm going to be your strong watch. I want everybody in the room to do your hand like this and say the Lord is watching over me. I know that you've seen some dark days. I know that you've had some heels to clap. But the Lord told me to tell my family at church uh, that I'm going to be your strong watch. Uh, what do you mean by that, Hollis? Uh, what I mean is that the devil uh, can't just do anything to you. Uh, I mean the devil uh, can't just have his way with you. Uh, I mean the devil uh, has got to ask God for permission uh, to even test you in your spirit uh, because God yeah, is watching over you. Yeah. Somebody should have said thank you, Jesus, yeah, for the simple fact that while you're going through, yeah, the Lord is still watching you. Yeah. 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 He said the next thing yeah, that I'm going to be for you, yeah. he said I'm going to be yeah, your strong embrace. Yeah, yes. And the Bible says in Psalms 91, one yeah, and verse number four yeah, it said he shall yeah, cover you yeah, with his feathers yeah, and under his wings yeah, you shall take refuge yeah, his truth yeah, shall be your shield yeah, and your buckler yeah. I need somebody yeah, to wrap your arms around yourself yeah, just one more time yeah, and say to yourself yeah, he's my strong embrace yeah, yeah. Yes. I said he is the one that's going to rock you in the midnight hour. He is the one that's going to encourage you when you don't feel the support. He is the one that's going to rock you when you don't feel like your spouse is there. When you don't feel like your children are there. The pastor's too busy. Whatever the case may be. He said I am your strong embrace. I wish I had a believer in here that's ever had a time that God rocked you. That ever had a time where God embraced you. If he ever did it for you say yes. And the final thing that the Lord said uh, that I'm going to do uh, for Calvary. Uh, I can't speak uh, about no other church uh, in the city of Yuxtown. Uh, this message uh, is for you today. Uh, and for those of you uh, that are watching by live stream, uh, God uh, said the last thing uh, that I'm going to do for you uh, is I uh, am going to be your strong rock. Uh, Somebody say strong rock. And the Bible says in Psalms 94 and verse number 22. But the Lord has been my stronghold and my God, the rock of my refuge. I need everybody in the room to pick up your feet and put them back down and say the Lord is my strong rock. I'm not standing on my own but I'm standing on the rock of the Lord. Shout yes. So the Bible says in our text Proverbs chapter 18 and verse number 10 the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it and are safe I got to go home now but just before I go I got to take you back to September 11th way back we refer to it as 9-11 can I tell the story about how 
now they were in a tower yes typing on a computer filing paperwork minding their business doing the job that they were commissioned to do in the twin towers but while I was in school the news came on and said that a plane had crashed into the twin towers yes y'all saw what happened while the plane was inside of the building the building caught fire bricks started loosening glass started shattering and while we watched the twin tower that they had built to stand anything suddenly came down but I came to preach about a strong tower that will not fall, will not crumble, will not bend, will not bow. His name is a strong tower. Is there anybody in here that know what his name is? Jump up on your feet, open your mouth, throw your head back, and holler. Hallow his name, Jesus. He's a strong tower while everything is falling. He's a strong tower while things are falling, crumbling around. He's a strong tower. Is anybody leaning on him? I'm leaning. All his everlasting arms. Shout yes. Shout yeah. I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to take my seat. But just before I sit down, while you're still standing on your feet, before you put the key back in your door, before you use the remote, to unlock your car in the parking lot. I got one question for you. Are you in or are you out? <laughs> yes. I went to New York. I walked down the streets of Fifth Avenue. <laughs> I got to the Trump Tower, stood on the sidewalk. <laughs> and contemplated whether I was going to go in or not. I looked in the doors and I saw marble. I saw everything that was so expensive. I saw glass and I saw mahogany wood and I saw granted all over the trim down the walkways and I thought to myself it looked pretty just from standing on the sidewalk but somebody walked up and said brother why are you standing here instead of going in they said to me you think it's pretty on the outside wait till you go in and see what's on the inside I got to make my way back to Akron now but the Lord said how long are you gonna stand on the outside looking in how long are you gonna stand and admire the goodness of the Lord from the outside I need somebody to just cloak your arms Hook your arms uh, with your neighbor uh, and say, neighbor, uh, don't be scared. Uh, 
neighbor, don't be fearful. Say, neighbor, don't be intimidated. But say, let's go in. I said, let's go in. Because when we go in, that's where the law is going to make it all right. When we go in, that's where the Lord is going to wipe it away. That's where the Lord is going to pick you up and turn you around. Is anybody going in? I got one question for you. For the rest of the week, are you in or are you out? Look around and tell somebody, I want to know, are you in or are you out? Walk around the sanctuary and give them some glory that lets them know I'm going in. Yeah, 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 I'm going in. Everybody's standing. I'm going in. I'm not out. I'm in. After all God's done for me. After the victories I've seen. After the battles that he gave me strength to endure. I'm not going to be out. I'm in. I'm in. Everybody say, I'm in. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm not questioning it. I'm, I'm not pondering on it. I'm, I'm in. Thank you, Jesus. It pays to be on the inside. Under shepherd's seat. There's, there's value. There's benefits. I learned from being on the inside. You can't experience the all of his greatness standing out, looking in. My mother, just two months ago, fell ill just like that. I'm cutting through so much, but they called us and said, the kind of infection that's in her body, I'm sorry to tell you, she has two weeks to live. I said, you've got to be kidding me. Not mama, not, not this woman of God. Two weeks to live. We went to the hospital. I walked around the room. I began to pray. I said, we're in a hospital, Chris. I can't get undignified. And I felt the Lord say, really? <laughs> they just told you she's got two weeks. And you're more concerned about being businesslike? And appropriate? <laughs> so I got a little louder with my prayer. I still didn't feel like that was doing it, sis, so... I got a little, I stood on up out of my seat. I said, the blood of Jesus, I bind and rebuke you. Sickness, you have no right. You, I come, I arrest you. I started pacing the floor. My sister was in there. She had the door shut. I said, open up that door. I said, I drive every death spirit <laughs> out of the room. Let Catherine go. Loose her body. I started to feel my Holy Ghost kicked up and I said, Ruba Shata, Nebe Shata, Ukupa Dandi Kik Shata. A nurse walked by and looked in the room. I said, Raba Shotoko, Mikika Nobo Shata, Nitete Shokotanaba. I saw a doctor stop and peer in. I said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I come against every demonic spirit. My mom was in the bed saying, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. A couple days went by, they said, 
We're sorry to tell you. But if you all don't make a decision, she won't wake up tomorrow. I said, I said, what are you saying? I said, well, we said two weeks. We're now saying 24 hours. Y'all ain't listening to me. I said, I'm on my way. Came back to the hospital. I put some oil in my hands. I walked over and I got on my knees. And at her bed, I began to cry out. Y'all know I've already lost a parent in the year 2016 and so I wasn't about to go out like this certainly you're not done with this woman certainly she has not spoken all that you have commanded her to do certainly I am not who I am for you to have snatched her in this moment I got on my knees I told the nurse that was working on her I said now you can either stay in here or you can exit if this is uncomfortable for you I said but it's about to get real crazy up in this room for the next 30 to 40 minutes I said so what you gonna do she said if you would allow me I'd like to join forces with you I said good put your hands on her belly I'm going to lay hands on these legs and I begin to pray. I said, wait a minute. I said, don't let nobody else up in here. I said, I've already connected with your spirit. Your spirit is good. My wife is at home praying and we're going to handle this right here and she will wake up tomorrow. I said, Lord, I'm alive because she gave me back to you in 1980. I'm alive because when the umbilical cord was wrapped around my ankles, she pled the blood of Jesus over the baby that was in her belly and believed by faith that I would be here. That was 32 years ago. I'm still here. You can do it for her. I'm still here. Do it for mama. I begin to pray. I begin to call out. I begin to talk in the spirit. They said, wait a minute. Her levels are changing. Wait a minute. She's sitting up. Wait a minute. It's a miracle. She's alive watching right now. That was a month ago. Give God God. This praise is for you, mama. David, that's too cute. That's too cute, David. David, I need it better than that. David, I'm a COVID survivor. I need you to dance better than that. The doctors told me I shouldn't make it past COVID, that my lungs wouldn't survive it. David, you gotta do it for me, like you got two good lungs. My mama still, thank you, lady in the orange. Thank you, lady. Thank you, balcony. I need somebody to do it while I'm breathing and give them your... a miracle worker he's a miracle worker it went from two weeks to 24 hours and she's st is she still alive baby is she still alive she's still giving them glory she's speaking in a heavenly language right now yeah
we're getting ready to leave here. But while the praise is heavy, I need somebody, and we're going to follow the guidelines, but I need somebody to just run to this altar real quick because I feel miracles in this house. Hey. I said run to this altar. Oh, you don't need no miracle. Okay. Oh, you don't need, you don't need God to give you a 24-hour miracle. Get to the altar. Run, run, run. 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 Ah. Squeeze into this altar. Squeeze. Yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. While you're at the altar, God's getting ready to perform a miracle. If he could do it for my mama, I already know he can do it for you. Huh? Yes, Lord. Good God Almighty. Come here, mama. Come here, mama. I want you to put your hands on both her shoulders. Uh-huh. Ah, yeah. I don't know what is going on with you, but I see the Lord doing an internal work right there. Something that doctors can't do. He's doing, yep. Yeah. Oh, my God, my God. I want everybody that is at this altar, I want everybody to get on your mind the very thing that's been standing in between you and your destiny. This ain't gonna take long because the miracle is already hovering. Now you're gonna be required to do something and the miracle that's hovering is going to descend and fall on you. But the first thing, listen carefully, first thing you gotta do is get your mind on what's standing between you and destiny. Start thinking about it right now. It may be a person, it may be a place, it may be a thing. All right, you got it on your mind, right? You got it on your mind? Good. All right. Now, what you got to do for the next 10 seconds, God said what you're going to do is going to do something that's symbolic to letting it go out of your hands. Okay? What you got to do, some of you say, I'm not no dancer. That's all right. Not everybody got rhythm, not everybody got coordination, and not everybody just feel like doing that physically. But God said, I'm looking and I need some sign that you're releasing that or them that has been in between you at destiny. I need to see a sign right now. One, two, three. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let, let them see it. There it is. Uh-huh. There it is. There, oh, there it is. There it is, let them know. I don't want it no more. I don't want it, yeah, oh. I feel something stirring on this side. I, there, 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 yep, yeah, right there. Oh, it's some fire right here. Right there, yes, yes. Yep, yeah, there it is. There it is, oh, huh? Yay! All right, listen. Father, in the name of Jesus, they've let you know that they don't want it. They divorced it and cast it to the side. Now the miracle that is specifically designed for them, give it to them now in the name of Jesus. Do it, yep, yep, yep. Miracles of healing. Yeah. Miracles. Yeah. Miracle. Uh-huh. Of saved ones. Uh, miracle. There it is. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shut up. Oh, Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Let it go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Lord. Oh, shut up. Yes, Lord. Oh, shut 
I pray longevity, yeah. longevity, yeah. yep, 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 from the top of your head yeah. to the sole of your feet. Yeah. I pray miracles, I pray miracles, yeah. miracles, yeah. miracle, oh, shit. Rikatai, huh? miracles, huh? Okushata, huh? miracles, huh? miracles, huh? miracles, huh? oh, shut up. Oh, out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly, shall flow rivers of living ocean. Oh, Open your mouth, sir. That's it, that's it, that's it. That, oh, shut up, he's spilling here with a precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Stir it up. Stir it up. Yeah. Stir it up. Yeah. Stir it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Oh, Baba Shah. Yeah. Every hurt yeah, is being taken away. Yeah. All that misunderstanding, yeah, he's taking it away. Yeah. In the name of Je oh glory, yeah. oh glory, yeah. oh glory. Yeah. I feel the fire yeah, of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. 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 To your will. Yes, Lord. To your way. Yes, Lord. I will obey. Yes, yes, yes. 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 From your belly. Yes, yes, yes. On your head. Yes, yes, yes. I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, seal it in your name. Seal it in your name. Seal it. Seal it. Ta 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 masha. In your name. Go ahead and cry, because this is the last time you're going to cry of sadness. The next tears that flow from your eyes will be tears of victory. It is done. We seal it in the name of Jesus. Lift those hands at the altar. Lift those hands at the altar. Now, God, that which you have taken away, replace with your presence, your power, and your peace. In Jesus' name, go back to your seat with a celebratory. Is that all you got? Is that all you got, brother? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and give it to him, cause he's worthy, so worthy, so, so worthy, Lord. Hey. Now you, let's say, I, I want to be in, but I have not even chosen God as my Savior. You're in this room or watching by way of live stream. Give us some sign that 
I want to be saved. I don't want everybody else to receive a miracle and I get nothing. Right. Because I'm not on the inside. Right. If that's you, give us some kind of sign on social media. Put the emoji hand up. Let me know. Let us know. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. question was are you in or out the question is now that you're in what you gonna do father thank you for your word mm. your word that first ministered to me and then spread abroad now, Father, thank you for what you have done in this place. That which had been agitating me ain't going to agitate me this week, Candace. Because the Lord has lifted that spirit and gave me victory. If I had doubts before, I've learned today he's still a miracle worker. And we give you glory, honor, and praise. It's in Jesus' name. Clap those hands and give God the praise that he so rightfully deserves. Let's give God a praise. We thank God for his word today. We thank God for his presence yes. that's in this house today. God. He's so mindful of us that he would come by and send a word to speak to whatever it is that we're going through in our life. He's an awesome God. Give him a praise right there. We're getting ready to go down from the house of God today, but before we go, we have a special announcement. As we know, next Sunday is our pastoral anniversary. And before we go, Deacon Luther Foster is going to come with a special announcement today before we go down from the household of God. Let's give him a praise. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Um, whew, I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> As you know, on behalf of the uh, executive board, we're going to have a special celebration for our pastor next week, October 10th, um, in Sunday service at 10 a.m. We, like all saints, if you can, give $50 by October 10th. And also, there are several ways that you can give. And that is, um, I didn't bring my offering, but the offering, tied in offering, on there say pastor, and you can mark on there $50. That's one way of giving, and you can give by Giveify, Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church. Make sure you click on Pastor Anniversary. You can give by Cash App, dollar sign, MTC, Youngstown, or PayPal, Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church, and also with them both, you need to write Pastor Anniversary. I am thankful for this celebration that we're about to enter in next week. They are an awesome first That's family. Yeah. And I ask that you please come next week as we celebrate this great man and woman of God. Thank you. We thank God for our pastor and our first lady. We thank God for them. And we're going to be here next Sunday to celebrate them and celebrate all the things that God has done for us in this house since they've been, since they've been our leaders. On next Sunday, I would like to announce that we're going to have a special dress for next Sunday. Next Sunday, our under shepherds, we want our under shepherds to wear their clergy collars with dark suits. On next Sunday, the under shepherds, their wives will be dressed in white. The deacon board will wear dark suits with their clergy collars or with their deacon collars on next Sunday. All of the ministers, a black suit with white shirts and white ties. And we're going to come and we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. I believe that the spirit of God is going to bless us. 
deacon wives would, would dress in dark suits with a white shirt on next Sunday. We're going to come to lift up the name of Jesus. We come in to celebrate the, our Lord and our Savior, and we're going to celebrate our first family. They've been here for us down through the years. Their tenure here at this church, they, they prayed for us. They've covered us. They've, they've, some of us, they've given money to. They've done so much for us since, we, since they've been here in this sanctuary or at this church, and we're going to come to celebrate them on next Sunday. Let's stand so we're getting ready to celebrate to close this service today. Remember that the deacons, they will be standing at the doorways for those who haven't given their tithes and offering electronically. They will have the baskets at the door so you can give on your way out. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, here we are, Lord. We thank you for your many blessings unto us. We thank you, Lord, for your presence that's in this house, Lord, for how you, Lord, met us today in this service, how you met every need in this house, Lord, and we take not for granted your many blessings for us. Lord, now bless us as we leave this place, but never thy presence, and we're going to give you praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.